Greetings and salutations everyone, this is Todd the Sweaty Nerd Guy and welcome to my first episode of 5 Google Fails. This is my newest uh, show, my only show in fact. But anyway, I'll be, I'll be doing this once a week and covering 5 Google Fails in every episode. Maybe some dumb search results or idiotic answers and people also ask. Just um... Fails that, fails that you find on Google in general. Anyway, um, let's get into this and hopefully we all have a few laughs and a good time. Anyway, on to number one. And we'll be focusing, focusing on how did Spider-Man kill Gwen? I find this one particularly stupid, but anyway. The answer is, she died when the Green Goblin hit her with his Goblin Grider 3. She died from a broken neck from the whiplash of Riplash effect of Spider-Man's webbing stopping her for abruptly four. She was already dead before Spider-Man even got there. Wow, I mean that's it's got to be stupid in that in that answer, you know. You know she died before Spider-Man even got there, but you know died from Riplash effect of Spider-Man's webbing stopping her four, and she did not die when the Green Goblin hit her with his Goblin Glider. He threw her off a bridge. <laughs> wow, they really messed that one up. You know, I don't know. I don't know why they uh, would have a question like that if they can't even come close to getting the answer right. But here we are. I'm glad they did it because it makes for some pretty good content. Anyway, on to number two. Okay, the question is this one: Is when did Jose Ferrer die? And oh God. Then the answer is when. The answer is not even about him. It's when his son, Miguel Farrell, died. Well, and it gets even dumber when you realise that right next to that question, it has the correct date of his death. It's not like Google doesn't know the answer. It's just that when you ask the question, it gives you the wrong answer. It, it's just so good, you know, to know that, you know, Google, one of the biggest search engines, around and they can't get something simple like that correct. <laughs> anyway, moving on to number three. Uh, it's about Jose Ferrer again. And the question is, is Jose Ferrer still alive? And once again, it's about his son, Miguel Ferrer. And like the question before, it, it instead of, well, this one's a different question. Instead of even mentioning mentioning that Jose Ferrer isn't, isn't alive still, it's about the answer is about when his son died. You know, I, I find this rather offensive, personally. You know, I'm I'm not Hispanic, but you know, Jose Ferrer was the first Hispanic actor to win an Oscar, and Google can't even get simple facts about him correct. You know, it's it's quite sad and quite disrespectful, in my opinion. You know, if you're going to talk about him or have questions answered about him, at least you can do is get the answers correct, which Google has failed to do so at least twice. Anyway, moving on to number four. Okay, I, uh, quite a few months ago I was searching for a dentist to go visit, and go see, you know, get a bit of dental work done as you do, and I wanted to get one done in my hometown of Cleveland. So I searched for, you know, Cleveland dentists in Queensland, as you do. If you, if you take note, the second result is a dentist, Affordable Care, Lota and Wenham. And if you're thinking, Wenham, that's not Cleveland, well, you'd be correct. And if you look further down, it says Complete Dental Wenham. You know, you think that typing in Cleveland Dentist will give you just search results for Cleveland Dentists located in Cleveland. But if you thought that, then you don't know Google too well. You know, it's quite sad because Google used to be one of the best search engines and now they're, they're rather shit. I don't know what happened, you know, they seem to be more more focused on quality, no, no, quantity, sorry, more focused on quantity over quality. And it, it's quite sad, you know, I prefer to have quality search results and less of them, you know, but what do I know? Anyway, moving on to the last one for the week, and I think this one's quite a doozy. 
Anyway, on to number five. And once again, people also ask, and this is about Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And the question is, Black Ops, is Black Ops 4 cross-platform on PC and PlayStation 4? The question is um, asking if, you know, if you're playing on PC, can you be playing a game with people on a PlayStation 4? You know, that would be pretty good if you could do that. But, that's the question. The answer, on the other hand, is about the uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare bit reboot. How it will have cross-platform, cross-play. You know, it the, the, the answer is not even about the same game that's in the question, you know. <laughs> oh, well, that's 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 quite a doozy, you know. Hey, is Black Ops 4, does Black Ops 4 have cross-platform? Well, Call of Duty Modern Warfare will. Yeah, I, I don't understand how they can screw up a simple question like that so badly, but once again, here we are. And... <laughs> Oh, it, it's quite sad, but, you know, it's funny though, you know, have a bit of a laugh at Google Suspense. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope everyone, I hope you all enjoy it, and um, join me again next week for the second episode, and hopefully this um goes well. And I hope, you know, I said that, just repeating myself now, and I um, hope you all take care. And stay safe, do me all solid and smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.